Hey yo, Antonio. In this video, we'll be unboxing the Maikita Oli, a frame that cost me $800. I'll be going over what it takes to make a frame that is worthy of an $800 price tag, and some general info on the material and the lens they've included. I first found out about Maikita when I visited Berlin in Germany. They had a store in a shopping mall called Bikini Berlin that showed off eye-catching interiors and extraordinary frame designs. Ever since then, I've been wanting to purchase my very own pair, which I've gone ahead and done. They cost me $820 at the local optometrists and I went in and bought this anonymously. The name Maikita is derived from the German word Kindertagesstatte. I'm sorry for my German viewers if I butchered that pronunciation, but it translates to daycare center, which is where the first Maikita headquarters were located. Founded by four members, two of which were key players in the creation of the brand IC Berlin, another iconic German optical manufacturer. Let's start with the box. As you open it up, you're greeted with a glasses case and a cardboard box. I expected the unboxing experience to be seamless, but it was surprisingly very difficult to get the case out. The case is matte and smooth, and inside are the glasses and a microfiber cleaning cloth. The cloth feels premium, and on it is a print that shines Makita Mylon. Makita Mylon is the material that this frame is made of, and they have a whole lineup of these Mylon frames on their Makita website. Inside the other box, there is a carrying pouch. I assume it's for carrying the case around, but you could equally use this as a soft case as the insides are lined with non-abrasive material. Let's get to the frame. The eye size is 47, the DBL is 25, and the temple length comes at 140. Hidden underneath is a product information guide that provides explanations on what the frame is made of and what engineering techniques were involved in the manufacturing process. It describes that the frame is made up of a proprietary material based on polyamide, making it super bendy and durable. This particular frame shows off a screwless hinge design that snaps back and forth from open to closed, so there is no need to tighten it with a screwdriver like conventional frame designs. The eye size is round but trapezoidal, and I think it will suit most face shapes. If you want to learn more about face shapes, then feel free to watch this video. The information guide continues by talking about the lens that was included into the frame. It states that all Maikita Mylon frames are fitted with Zeiss lenses, another very premium German manufacturer. If this is true, then that means that even if I didn't fit any prescription lenses into them, the default lenses should have high quality optics and knowing that they're Zeiss lenses, they should also have 100% UV protection as well as an anti-glare coating. I'm a big fan of Zeiss. Not only do they make high quality lenses, they also create imaging equipment for optometrists and ophthalmologists. I think they make very beautifully precise machines and optical equipment. So I had to double check whether these default lenses were what my Kita said they were going to be. Could I wear these glasses and have the same level of UV protection as a pair of sunglasses? And to my surprise, the lenses only showed a 20% absorption of UV. I was so skeptical that I had to measure it a second time and it came up with a similar result. Hmm, this is interesting. So one of us is lying. All right, which one of you are lying? Hey, don't look at me. All our lenses have 100% UV protection. And all our frames have Zeiss lenses in them. Well, I don't know who's lying, but one thing is for sure. These blank lenses, although they're treated with an anti-reflection coating, are not UV protective. I wish my Kita would clarify this on their product information guide, especially when they go on about how Zeiss lenses will provide the maximal UV protection. Perhaps this is only true for prescription glasses. Who knows? Nonetheless, the frame is gorgeous. My favorite part about these glasses are how light they are. They come close to just 16 grams, by far the lightest frames I've ever tried. And as a result, I forgot I was wearing them multiple times. It was truly amazing. So the $800 question is, is it worth paying that much for a pair of glasses? 
I think a design-focused company like Maikita that pride themselves on craftsmanship and their patented technology curiously shares a similar relationship to other luxury brands like, say, watches. Is it worth lashing out thousands to buy a wristwatch like a Rolex? Especially when you can easily get a wristwatch that is super affordable and serves basically the same function. I feel at that point you are paying for the reputation of build quality, the underlying technology, and the hours taken into crafting such contraptions. The attention to detail, like including Zeiss lenses in their sunglass range, exemplify Maikita's obsession for quality. The highlight of the frame, in my opinion, is the hinge design. The amount of time spent on refining these designs must have been unbelievable. It shows off a spiral design that allows it to pivot freely, but the center of the spiral provides enough force that it doesn't allow it to easily open unless you really intend to. This makes it super easy to fold them correctly and lay them down on a desk. Plus, the tactile click you get when opening and closing them makes it enjoyable to wear them. But what are some downsides? First would be the disappointment that the default lenses were not UV protective when on the product guide it states that all Maikita Mylon frames are fitted with Zeiss lenses. Second would be how hard it is to repair these. If I accidentally sat on them and the hinge broke loose or the arm bent, then I'm screwed. Or should I say I couldn't use a screw to fix it because it's screwless. But the anti-glare coating on the default lenses was a pleasant surprise and the overall build quality and the attention to detail was magnificent. I plan on wearing them as an accessory frame with no prescription, just like what I'm doing now, but just wearing contact lenses underneath to correct my vision instead. The Maikita Oli is a ton of fun to wear and it provides a unique wearing experience. Would I buy another one? Probably not anytime soon, but if I see another eye-catching design, I might be tempted. I hope you enjoyed my analysis of the Maikita Oli, and as always, if you learned something new, or at least found something useful, then yay, thumbs up to you. If you want to thumbs up back, then that would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.